Let's review unit one. The terms factor and multiple should now be a part of our math vocabulary, but let's review these two terms from our first unit. Factors of a certain number divide the number exactly. A whole number can be expressed as a product of factors. So 3 times 6 equals 18. 3 and 6 are factors. 18 is the product. If I were to list all factors of 18, I could do so by asking myself. 18 can be divided by which numbers exactly? Or what numbers can I multiply to get a product of 18? 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18 are all factors of 18. 5 is a factor of both 25 and 30. So we call this a common factor. 25 can be divided equally by 5. 60 can also be divided equally by 5. So they are, so 5 is a common factor of 25 and 60. Multiples of a number can be found by multiplying the number by whole numbers. If I were to list the first four multiples of 6, they would be 6, 12, 18, and 24. 60 would also be a multiple of 6, since 6 times 10 equals 60. 120 would also be a multiple of 6, since 20 times 6 equals 120. Now let's review prime factorization, but we have to review a couple of terms first. A prime number is a whole number greater than 1, which has exactly two factors, 1 and the number itself. So 7 would be an example of a prime number, because prime number can be divided only by 7 and the number 1. Prime factors are any factors of a number which are prime numbers as well. So 7 would be a prime factor of 42, because 6 times 7 equals 42, and 7 is a factor of 42. 7 is also a prime number. So we would call that a prime factor. So let's review prime factorization. We want to express 48 as a product of prime factors only. So we want to break this number down so that we are left with only prime factors. So we start with the number 48, and we're going to break it apart into two factors. Remember, there's a number of ways that you can do this. You can choose to divide 48 by 2, 3, 4, I'm going to choose to divide 48 by 4. 48 divided by 4 equals 12, so 4 and 12 are the numbers that I write in. Both of these numbers are also composite numbers, meaning that they can be broken down further. So I'm going to break 4 down into 2 times 2. Notice those are both red because those are both prime numbers now. 2 cannot be broken down any further. It's a prime number because it can only be divided by itself and the number 1. 12 can be divided by 3 and 4. 3 times 4 equals 12. 3 is a prime number, so I'm going to stop that one there. 4 is not, so I can continue to break the number 4 down into factors. 2 times 2 equals 4, so I'm going to write those in there. So now I have all red on the bottom. In class, we normally show this um, by putting circles around our prime factors at the bottom so we know that we're done. We don't have to break it down any further. When we have prime numbers at the bottom of our tree here, we know that we are done and we can write the number as a product of its prime factors. So 48 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. But we can write this in exponent form. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is the same as saying 2 to the fourth power. So what we have here is 2 to the fourth power times 3. And we can put a box around that answer because that is our final answer. So prime factorization is the process of factoring a composite number such as 48 into its prime factors. 